So our final presenter today, we have Martin Ventosa, who is project manager, manager at Go Druid, which, is, which created a consumer-driven solution that puts the onus of saving the planet on the consumer and not the government. Would you please give Martin a very warm welcome to the stage? Hello, everyone. How are you all doing? Good? Today, I bring to you two very important things. One, a challenge. How can we save the planet with blockchain? A second, a solution. Go through it. Before I can uh, tell you a bit about my idea, I'd like to tell you a bit about myself and my team. We are driven by saving the planet in everything we do in our daily lives. But how can we, as individuals, create a concerted effort all throughout the planet to do this? Incentivizing people by their wallets and their interests and not forcing them, not coercing them through power of government. The solution is simple, blockchain. So, in order to do this, we have to find how to create this community. But in order to create this community, we have to go back to history and analyze how it processed in the past. And so we found these, the Druids, Roman Empire times. So these were essentially, quite funny, the blockchain community of the past. These were out of the fray, out of government power, had their cult of nature, saving the planet, doing their own thing, having their own currency system within them, and having superiority of the, the empire. They were the political advisors of the empire. Just as I think the blockchain community can be the advisors to these governments who are trying now to assign COP21 treaties, we can save the planet. And so, how can we create this community? Simple. We'll marry the blockchain with the Earthship. But what is this Earthship thing? This thing that will bring on this caveat emptor revolution that softly will change this planet. Let me introduce you. Imagine a building completely self-sustainable, zero carbon footprint. A building that can provide water, electricity, food, basic chemicals for medicine, everything you might need within the premises, dealt with by the community. The community that can establish. But not just that for the community, for those who live there permanently or for a long time. But one that is open to people who want just for a few days. Sort of like in a hotel or a hostel. People come in, can learn, and can change their habits. Not just within these premises, but within their daily lives. Think about the possibilities. This gets more enticing as we go on. I'll try to keep it short and sweet. This is a diagram of our products. So, Everything we have is self-sustainable and has a purpose. Everything that we use, dealt, accounted, and everything. The products we have are not just these, the growth of food, the growth of water, the storing of electricity and everything, but the philosophy, teaching people, inspiring people to change their lives. Embracing nature, that's the most important thing, that's the most beautiful thing here. And you might have been asking so far, what's the role of blockchain here? Raise capital, nothing is done without money. Create a community that can own the project, open source. We are not imposing this project. We are proposing the idea. We want you, with the power of your wallet, if you are interested, of course, to help us create the best project we can have. We want for this not to be just one, here, for example, in Slovenian Petui, or in Serbia, Felix Ramuljana, perhaps in the United States, perhaps Korea, Zimbabwe, who knows? All throughout the world. We want all these communities to be united by the blockchain. It gives intrinsic value to these communities, not being dependent on any government, just like the Druids were back then. We've accounted for all the risk and all the financial perspectives for this project. 
we see that the first one with an austere budget would have the price tag of a quarter of a million euros, roughly 20 bitcoins by current prices. We would have a very, very soft, 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 soft cap of a quarter of a million, because that's what we need for the proof of concept. However, for a better project, quarter half a million. Hard cap, the ideal would be two and a half million for, say, five projects. Slovenia one, the Serbia, and then the community can say where the hell will be the next one, with the power of your wallet, of course. We are not here with small dreams. We have big dreams, changing society step by step, proving that the Bitcoin, also the, the blockchain, also has a role intrinsically by itself as a medium of trade to help the environment, pr to protect it. Don't they look beautiful? I mean, the the sites merging codes with nature quite philosophical. Now go, I ask you to go and go do it today. today. Thank you very much. Please do shoot me an email at any time. I'll be replying like crazy to all your questions. Thank you very much.